One last important piece of code that we need to write is the employee repository. So let's create an employee repository interface by right clicking on the source main Java, new interface. It's not a class, it's an interface. Call it employee repository. Put it in a package called com.bharat.employee.repos for repositories. Click on add because these repositories need to extend another interface and search for CRUD repository. Select the CRUD repository from org.springframework.data.repository. It is from Spring Data. Click OK. Finish. And we have our employee. We need to replace these generic types T with employee class. Import it by hitting Control 1. Import it from our package. And the ID, we need to tell what type it is. It is of type long. In employee, the ID field is of type long. That is what we are telling the repository. It is an interface. All the magic happens internally at runtime through Spring. Spring will automatically allow us to perform the CRUD operations on whatever entity we have passed it here.